Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Pokemon Conquest. I have now set the last area that we haven't done for this month to just do training, and it is time for us to move on in the story mode. So we got some problems, and some good things. The problem is Gincheo attacked Violite, which was unguarded, by choice. And she's a problem. Alright, there were no warriors that could stop her. And Nobunaga is going to try and take over Valora, a very hard place to conquer, but he would split Masamune's army if he did that. And because of that, Masamune's army is now split up. Hideyoshi is now going to try and take down Ginchio, which is very difficult to do. Yep, Munishige will not allow it. Masamune is now going to get revenge on Nobunaga for taking over that one area. And he did not succeed. Oh boy. Things are going weird. Oh, Konatsuge, currently on a train trip. Please allow me to read it. For you. Okay, what does he have to say? It seems that the journey is doing wonders for both Lord Konosuke and Lord Konosuke's Pokemon. It seems to be an item discovered on the journey. A Thunderstone! Hey, that's cool. We don't need one, but that's cool. Uh, Alright, Shingen, I have to make a weird decision. Because you're right. Yeah, that thing's at 21% for Groudon. I'm going to keep you with I'm not. I'm not in a position where I can train like that. So you're going to go ahead and just fall back. I'm glad we got you your legendary Pokemon. Maybe we'll use it in a different story mode. But for now, we need you to stick with Refarrier. Because, yeah, story mode's not going so easy for us. So I need to take out Ginchio, And I need to do so in a way where we still have enough people to protect Pugilus. So I'm thinking I'm only going to send in Shingen and Darmanitan. And with that, we should still have enough forces to defend our Pugilus area. Now, I know this is a little risky. Because, well, it's not really risky. Darmanitan can do it. Honestly. And Shingen just has to not miss his goddamn attacks. Which is really difficult for him, but still. I feel more confident if he had a Groudon. But then he couldn't fight Munushige, so I guess that'd be a problem. Alright, seeing how this fight is probably going to go... This is what I want from you two. I don't want you guys to go anywhere crazy. That Flaffy cannot press that button because it only gets three movement. Just work together, stick together, do not separate from each other. There we go. Have all of your guys come over towards me. That Blitzel could press that button, so I'm glad I didn't go that way. Yep, see, he didn't even try this time. Carnivine needs to die immediately. Now, looking at this, one, two, three, four, perfect. Okay. We can kill the Carnivine, so we're going to rally up early. The rally is not for Shingen. He's not going to be able to use it. Well, he'll probably get one use out of it if, at best. It's just for Kai. Kai, get rid of the grass type. That way we have almost a guaranteed chance of winning this battle. Yep. Well, after this, Shingen can't lose to, three, uh, to two electric types. We win. But the problem with this situation is that they could stall us out if Shingen kept missing. Because, yeah, Shingen can't hit them. I mean, can hit them, and they can't hit him, but they can just run away, and Shingen's attack is horrible in on this map with its positioning. Like, literally terrible. Luckily for me, she missed. Okay, it's finally Thunder misses. It's supposed to miss pretty often, but... The way she was using it, it wasn't missing at all, so I'm really impressed that it missed. Alright, I'm trying to figure out who's the bigger threat, Flaffy or freaking you? How much can you do to a Flaffy, out of curiosity? Oh, just kill the Flaffy. Yeah, we don't even want to think about it. We'll have we'll have Shingen working with Darman... I swear, this Darmanitan is carrying my team. Kai, you are the most amazing warlord ever. Shingen, get closer. Next turn is your last turn of rally. So after this turn, we're going to be out of rally. So the Intimidate makes it so Darmanitan's attack goes back to normal. And if this paralyzes us, then I'm going to call Tax. Okay, for once it did not paralyze us. I don't call hacks. Oh crap, well there's still this. Get away from my Darmanitan. Good. That could have been scary. Darmanitan, do as much damage to this girl as you can. 52 with a guaranteed hit. I like it. 52 damage. Assault, go. Alright, and Rhyferior, this is your last chance to do maximum damage of 54. Really? I guess you do have way less length than Darmanitan. And also, you have, like, no chance of hitting this. Holy crap, you hit it! Thank you so much, Shingen. I appreciate that. That was his last chance of rally, uh, turn of rally, so now it's all up to her. But now her attack stat got lo lowered by a lot. And she missed. Good job. 
Luxray at 50%. I can't hit you with my Rock Wrecker, I have to admit. So I'm just going to hit you with this. Oh, I can't kill you. Maybe I will end up killing you with Rock Wrecker. Depends on where you stand. I think I know where you're going to stand, though. So I'm going to predict that you're going to stand over here, and I'm going to Rock Wrecker you. That Intimidate actually came in handy. You lived an extra turn. Bustle! Hmm, I was right about where you were going to stand, that's for sure. And because I was right, one, two, three, I can attempt to get the kill with a Rock Wrecker from the side. 75% chance, let Shingen get a kill game, come on. There we go, Shingen kills the enemy boss. All the other Pokemon lost to Darmanitan, but Shingen beats the boss. And a boss is worth 4%, holy crap. The regular enemies were, the only, were only worth 3%. She was worth 4? Makes sense, she's at 50%. <laughs> she is literally at 50%, that thing is worth it. All right, let's see. Kai, hey, what's this weird power? At 50, oh wow, Kai's in early evolution. She's gonna evolve. 55% I think is the earliest a character ever evolves and that's Kai. We don't have Quick Strike anymore, but whatever her next ability is, it's bound to be the best. Also, I like her new outfit. It's stylish, I like the fire. Especially since she's from the rock area, so it's nice to see fire. All right, now I'm gonna be invincible, yeah. Honestly, you basically are. Darmanitan, I now feel even stronger power. Do you feel it too, right? Yeah, we're unstoppable. No joke, they're probably unstoppable. Like, honestly. That's why I feel safe leaving them there. Because they're probably unstoppable. Alright, now you guys need to freaking train. Alright? Let's see who you can train against. A lot of freaking enemies there. That'd be a good training. What about over here? Not too many enemies. Not bad. Not, not good training. I'm going to separate the training up a little bit. We're going to have you two work in the freaking arena. Just focus on yourselves, okay? Don't worry about your links. Even though I do need to train that freaking Scraggy up. And you guys, this is going to be rough to kill all these enemies, but I trust you both. Dormanitan might die here. I mean, I mean, not, I mean, not Dormanitan. Sorry, Zoroark might die here. But we need to train up. Our, our Pokemon are way low level. I mean, we struggle against Genshio, and Hideyoshi was whatever, but literally we're lower level than the opponent, and that's scary. She's at 50, we're at 50. She has a full, fully evolved Pokemon, we do not. Luxray evolves early, though. It evolves to its final form at, like, level 30 in the main game, so that kind of makes sense. I'm expecting that Timber to hurt my Zoroark, but that's okay. I wanted Zoroark to get close. Oh, it has Thrust, damn. Don't miss. Yeah, I was gonna say don't hit. Don't. I was gonna say don't miss, but I mean don't hit. Honestly, most of this is gonna have to be done by freaking. Oh wow, that pig knight has. That pig knight has an amazing ability. I didn't realize it until now. All right, you go kill this uh, Magikarp. He's a problem. Yeah, he's just gonna be mood making this entire time. We don't want him here. And now Zorark will die to just about everything here. Like everything here except that Scraggy, is uh, really good at killing him. So you are going to have to work on all of them. Zorark will help, but you're going to have to work on all the enemies. Luckily, most of the enemies are weak to to Yoshihiro, since they're all part Dark type. The only real threats are the Scrap Ds. They need to be killed, and they're hiding on that freaking slide. Get over here. Oh, good. The positioning works out really well for... Ooh, that hurt. Oh, if this guy high jump kicks me. He's probably going to try. Okay, if this hits, I'm going to feel real bad. Oh, it missed! He lost so much health! Holy crap, that's amazing. Now I can do this. Murder! The high jump kick probably would have killed us, so I'm very happy with the results here. And he lowered his accuracy. He might just die to his own high jump kick, to be honest. I'm almost willing to try and let it happen. You know what? I am willing to let it happen. I'm curious. Right, I'm just going to hit the Pig Knight really hard. It has the Spirit ability. I don't want to activate it, but I might. Okay, good. The Spirit ability, when it activates, like, if you almost die, Spirit activates and you get all your health back and your stats increase. It's one of the most broken abilities you can have in the game, and it's on Pig Knight. I don't know if Embor gets to keep it, but I know it's on Pig Knight. I'm sad that you went after Girder. You knew that you couldn't hit Zoroark, so you went after me instead. And Pig Knight went into a position in which he can't hit anything. That's nice for me. 
Uh, let's see how much you can do to these two. 29? That's good. Okay, we'll just do it to these two then. Oh shit, I probably shouldn't have done that. Pig Knight's gonna get that heal I was just talking about. Yep, shouldn't have done that. So he's back to full health and he gets his attack up. You know what? I'm gonna just... You're, you're gonna be the guy I mighty blow. We're running a little low on turns here and I need to attract that other guy. I'm still hoping that's that the high jump kick makes it so this guy misses. Because the rest of these enemies I should be able to one-shot with my girder. But if that Scrafty doesn't get over here, I, I won't be able to do it. Alright, you've been just trickling this damage onto me. Let's see it. High jump kick, please miss. It'll be so funny if you die by missing. Damn! Oh, you didn't kill me! I'm actually surprised by that. I didn't realize that Scrafty also can have spirit. That's busted. We do not want that to activate, so we're going to kill him immediately. Just one good punch in the face. There we go. And then you, my friend. You've done great, but you're probably dead. So why don't you run over there? And you just try to stall this thing. Yeah, with your flinch. Oh, you didn't get the flinch. Okay, well, you're a dead man. That Scraggy is running away rather than trying to hit me. Please, please don't hit. Damn, alright. Zoroark tried, but he couldn't survive the battle. It's okay, though. Yoshihiro can finish this battle. Especially since the Scraggy just ran away. All that's left is one Scrafty at not even full HP. High Jump Kick is one of the best moves in this game damage-wise, but the problem with it is if they give it to a lot of really slow Pokemon, so it's a very high-risk move. Like, look at that. He couldn't even hit a Girder. Girders aren't fast. So it's a super high-risk move. You lose, like, half your health when you miss. But if you have a Link Advantage or if you have an Accuracy Buffing move or Ability, especially Ability, uh, then it's worth it. Wow, 4% on both of my Pokemon. That was good training. And we get a Magikarp, hell yeah. I'll take a Magikarp. Oh, never mind, we got a Pansage, damn. That means his perfect link probably was Magikarp, whatever. Alright, well, that seems like we did good here. We did good work. Now, who is not delegated right now? You guys. You guys are need to... Hold up, let me see here. Yeah, you guys just work in the gold mines. We need money. We're a little desperate at the moment. For some cash. A drill. We're not ready for a drill. I'm sorry. Drills are really good, but you need somebody with really high power to use it. It's probably the best item you'll see is a drill. Konitsugu, we need you to come back from that training trip already. We're having problems. Oh god, it's watery. Wait, since it's raining, does that mean Thunder will never miss? Alright, Genchio's come attacking us during the rainstorm. If Thunder never misses, that's impressive. Honest to god, we can win this fight. It does not matter. If Shinge if we kill the grass type, Shingen wins us this fight. Because literally, we don't have we're the defenders. We don't have to win by battle. We can just retreat. I mean, we could just hold off for 20 turns. We kill that grass type, they have no chance of winning this fight. In fact, they should surrender immediately. And that's the plan, is to kill the grass type immediately. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to move forward. If that grass type moves three spaces forward, it killed itself. And the battle's over, guys. We won. I'm not even joking. That's how the cookie cr crumbles. I, I use... Whoa, wait! I didn't know her new ability. I forgot she evolved. It increases speed, but not range. Aw, oh, crap. I was incorrect. S improves speed and makes enemies flinch. Oh it, oh, it has flinch and it guarantees your hit with speed. Losing the ability to flinch sucks and losing the one range sucks, but honestly... I mean, I mean, we don't lose the flinch, but losing the one range does suck. But honestly, increasing the speed to make sure you don't miss is kind of nice. Yeah, you're going to have to take a thunder now. This was a huge misplay by me not understanding my new ability. And you know, I increased my own speed stat. It made it harder to hit me. Alright, well that's a bunch of dead enemies. Not this turn, obviously, but, you know, the, yeah. We can't kill the, uh, the, the Luxray, but we can kill the freaking Carnivine. We got a crit on top of it, nice. Yeah, Warrior Woman sounds like a cool ability. Let's go ahead and do 40. I don't think it's as, as good as most abilities that people get, but it's still really good. 
Especially since it gives you the ability to flinch on a freaking Darmanitan. Don't worry, Darmanitan, I'm gonna raise your stats right now. Uh, okay, no, no paralyze. That's all I'm worried about is getting paralyzed. Volt Switch can't paralyze us, it just does a lot of damage. Now, I understand I can't Rock Wrecker again. I already hit it once. But it's okay, because that's not the plan. The plan is to rally up our Darmanitan. Alright, Darmanitan. You don't really have to survive this battle. Um, I just want you to kill the Luxray, because honestly, Rykfiria just has to hit one attack to kill the... To kill the freaking Amolga. And what are your percentages now? You're still at 50, right? You haven't moved. And you're at 52. You've been moving. And the reason he's been moving is because he's been fighting... Um, who do you call it? Whatchamacallit? He's been fighting... Oh, what's her name? Uh, his name. He's been fighting Hideyoshi, the fire-type Infernape guy, who doesn't have Infernape yet. And once he gets Infernape, he's a huge threat. Honestly, I should have wiped him out a long time ago. Alright, to right in position. All I need to do is not get paralyzed. And you missed. Perfect. Uh, that's about the same thing. Alright, I'm going to get one Rock Wrecker off, and this Rock Wrecker is going to be a Rock Wrecker in which... Uh, I have attack up, so let's hope it works. Kinchio has been defeated. Yep, 50% chance is about how much we expected. Yeah, that was expected. Okay. Let's see where this guy decides to run to this time. Interesting. He's showing his back to me. That's a mistake. That got me up to 59 accuracy. The best accuracy I'm going to see. Ah, oh, it still missed. <laughs> it's like, that's literally the best accuracy the game's going to give me. And it missed. I got a crit. And he died in one hit. This this Darmanitan is a god. Shingen just showed up and gave us the rally buff at best. This Darmanitan is literally a god. Alright, we held them back. So now Hideyoshi has to make a decision. Does he attack Inchio for attacking me and wipe her off the map? Or does he go after nobody? Masamune is now trying to take out Nobunaga, who has a bunch of Golbats in his army. What the hell? Masamune has been failing recently. He's actually losing more territory. Nobunaga is literally wiping Masamune off the map soon. Oh, uh, someone asked for a favor. I have money, so don't worry. The thousand bucks, you got you are great farmers. You don't have to worry about it. I understand there's a rainstorm and everything. Don't worry. Yeah, Masa, Masamune is almost wiped off the map. All he's got left is two territories. Nobunaga's been doing very good work against him. I gotta watch out for that Nobuna, Nobunaga guy. So I've been thinking, do I go after Ginchio and just wipe her off the map? I'm thinking no. I don't think I do that. I'm gonna get my girder guy over there. Yeah. Now you guys expect a visit from the most powerful enemy in the game, Hideyoshi. I'm joking, obviously. Hideyoshi's not the pow most powerful. But I'm expecting Hideyoshi to come and bully my troops, and that's okay. Now, I don't want to lose Yoda Fall, so I probably don't want to do what I just did. Okay, what's the next strongest person I could put in there? My 165 guy. Yeah, put, oh no, 169 guy. Holy shit, that guy's strong. Put him over there. I know, I know, I'm, I'm probably not going to be in a fight with them. But if they take Illusio, that's not going to be fun to take back, so... You know how it is. And then you... Send the Machop guy over here, just in case. Nobunaga and Masamune's fight is getting a little scary. I don't want to be through... I don't want to be caught in it. I just want to be focusing on this bottom side of the map. Let's just collect our gold. And figure out what I'm going to do. I was able to hold her back. Uh, pickaxe. Mmm. You know what? I trust him. He can do it. Yeah! $12,000 in one turn! We'll never run out of money. We're at 21 k I trusted that old man with the pickaxe, and he succeeded. Alright, you three and you three need to figure out a plan. Or you four. Alright, you four. You're probably going to get attacked by Hideyoshi, so my plan is to train you. This is not a good area to train most of you, to be honest. This this is doable. This area is doable. I'm going to give you guys 
you two, which is not a good matchup for two of them. But honestly, my freaking ghost type could probably kill all of them. I'm probably going to send you Zoroark just to be safe. Eh, Pinaco. I'm going to send you Pinaco just to be safe. And Zoroark. Screw it, I'm going to send them all. We're not taking a risk. This is a level 3 farm. I should expect high level opponents. 85. That's not as high as I was expecting, to be honest. Granted, I'm not that not very high level. Only Zoroark is high level. I guess Yoshimoto's doing good too. I can't I can't ignore him. 40% Link is not bad, but my other girls, she's at 31, and my other girls at like 20. Yeah, 28, so. Not expecting much there. Zoroark, the two Matrops are hiding on the slide, so you just take the top here. Show them that you're not afraid. Thrusting Machop and a Machop with Guts. I'm actually more worried about the Machop with Guts, to be honest. Now, this Jagged Edge should make you take a lot. 10 damage is worth it. Now, Yoshimoto, your job is actually to fight the Machops in this, uh, this idea of mine. You are going to do your best with your compassion here. Yeah, stay next to Yoshimoto. That way you can heal him. Frostlass, 33, 39 damage, nice. I love that I get to use Frostlass a lot. She's a fun Pokemon. I know I used Bear Tick last time, but screw it. You gotta love Frostlass. Alright, let's see if that Machop will get closer if I bait him in with this Scraggy. And with the crit, the Rufflet's gone. So now we need to bait in the freaking Machop to fight our Pinaco. Pinaco's the better attack target for us. That Machop will not move, I swear to god. Hey Machop, look at me, I'm a Scraggy, come and hit me. Alright, don't worry about deep breath, just attack. There we go. And Aya, don't be afraid either, just attack. Zoroark, on the other hand, get closer to that Machop that has not been getting near us. That's the one we need to target. Hey, Machop, we're right here, waiting for you. Get your ass down here. Your friend Machop is about to die, so don't worry about him. There you go. There you go. Get closer. There we are. How much can we do to him? 14? That's not a lot, but do it anyway. Yeah, I was going to say, it's one of your last turns of Trickster, so just use it. Um, he's probably going to thrust you, so I'm going to let you get... Oh, no, he doesn't have thrust. Either way, I'm going to let you get attacked. And then we're going to have you just bite into... Uh, well, let's see if Frostlass can do it. I want to give Frostlass a chance. There we go. This Frostlass has less experience than everybody. She needs the kill more than anybody. Her and our Scraggy. Alright, Scraggy, I'm letting you get hit by a Machop right now. Not the nicest thing I've ever done, but do it. No crit, please. 23, that's pretty effective. Alright, you can fall back, Scraggy. You did good. I'm going to let uh, Zorark handle the rest of this. Almost killing the opponent. Let's quick strike. See if we can flinch him. I thought we might kill him, but we don't. Yeah, perfect situation. So now, I'm going to give the kill to our Kunoichi, our Scraggy. Because we're in a situation where most of the other armies are rocking 45, 46%. And well, having two of my main warlords, you know, or not main, but two of my warlords that I first captured in this story mode, only at 30%, that doesn't seem right. That seems like I made a mistake somewhere. There we go. And that's a good boost. They're both getting up in the 30s now. And we got ourselves a rough let, which... Honestly, the more people I capture, the more I realize I'm going to have to throw away later. And this guy's rough luck can only go up to 42%. It's not the best, but we'll take it. Right, what's going on? Shingen, we have found many kindred spirits. Hey, that's going to get our energy up. That's good. We needed that. We needed a good boost in energy right now. People's spirits have been down. And you guys, I know we might not be able to keep Violite eventually, but we're going to try. So I want you guys to invest a little money into it. We're rich, after all. Yoshimoto might be a dumb old man. He's not the dumbest, actually, but, um... You know, he might be a dumb old man, but he could be useful. Shingen's a freaking genius, and Kai, after evolving, she is really smart. Really, really smart. I respect her intelligence. Stat. 
All right, let's see what's gonna happen now. Yeah, Genchio, I expected this, but you've already lost this fight once before. I really... Oh, you brought a water type to the party. I'm glad I... Okay, I'm glad I brought freaking Yoshihiro over to this side. Because Genchio brought a water type while it's raining. So this battle we actually could totally lose. However, if I manage to kill the Duwat, we and the Carnivine, we win. And the Machop... Well, no, the Machop's fine. This is a fight we can actually lose. I gotta be super tactical in how I do this. We need Shingen up front. I need him to get the the Oshawa guy enticed. Because Shingen, his job is to kill Munishige. After that, the rest of us will work together to kill Luxray. I swear, her Luxray has not been leveling up. Because she keeps focusing on attacking me. If she would just focus on attacking somebody else, this wouldn't have happened. Alright, Shingen's gonna lead the charge. Yoshihiro's gonna be right behind him. And our Manitan's catching up. She's she's a little far away. You know what? We're gonna put her near the middle. I want her in the middle if possible. We want that Carnivine and we want that freaking uh, Duwat dead. But I can't really kill Duwat with the Darmanitan. Maybe I can. I don't know what my stats are like. Alright. Once that freaking Flying Amolga is dead though, I don't really think I have any threats. So let's try that. I'm gonna rally up. We're going to try and kill the Amolga. It's not going to be easy, given the accuracy. Oh, 63! We're at better accuracy now. 63, come on. Just let me kill the Amolga. They attacked us. Damn it! Oh my gosh. I swear, it's so hard to do that these days. Let's get rid of that Machop. It's also a problem. I want to save my Mighty Blow for later. Alright, and... How are you going to do this? You can't hit anybody but her... Dewat is not the best target. Can you hit that freaking Carnivine? No, you cannot. It's in a good position. Alright, given the good positioning my opponent has put themselves in, I'm going to have to position myself in a way that can, that gets both Carnivine and Dewat closer. So I'm going to stand right here. I understand she's going to bustle the Carnivine, but it's fine. Uh, I'm not going to get another shot on that Amol- Oh, that Amolga did a lot. Oh, crap. And I'm expecting this to hurt. Yep, this is gonna hurt. Yep, it's okay. Take the hit. There we go. The chop, you're gonna push me back. I actually really appreciate that. I need to be in a better position, and that puts me in a better position. They're all gonna attack my boss. No joke. Yoshihiro's gonna get hit by every single one of them. And he rallied up the freaking Luxray. That's a huge threat. Having that Luxray hit harder than it already does. Oh, yeah. But they position themselves in a way where I can bully them back. I actually really appreciate this. Warrior Woman. Let's do this. Ultimate Fire Blast. As long as I kill the Duwat, this battle is won. And if I can flinch it, that's even better. I'm expecting my girl. Oh my god, I got a double flinch. Nice. I guess it's not even a chance to flinch. It just works. 70 damage and I can save my mighty blow, but if I do this, I'm gonna die to a Molga no matter what, so I might as well do die killing the freaking Oshawa or Dewat. And knowing that my my girder's gonna die, it's sad to say that my leader's gonna die. I don't want to waste my rock wrecker on him. But he's gonna body block me soon, so I gotta get over here. Alright, Girder's dead. No matter what happens, Girder's dead. Please don't hit my don't hit my Darmanitan. The Romanitan is going to have to clean up here. Okay, we got the flinch on Luxray. This is what's going to kill Girder. Oh, okay. Nope, the Machop is going to kill Girder. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. That's a shame. It's a shame to lose Girder that way. But my positioning got me to a point where I can use my last turn of Rally on you. I know I said I wanted to hit that Amolga, but screw it. I can actually hit the Lux- I can't even hit the Luxray! Oh my god. That Luxray is- I swear to god. Shingen, you're awesome when it comes to defense. But offensively, you're a terrible- And I know when you hit an opponent, you're awesome. But honestly, you don't hit anybody. I got the burn, luckily, so that's gonna help out. If this gets the paralysis, this son of a bitch! A critical hit took away more than half my HP. That's really bad. Shingen, we're on the defending side, so we can't possibly lose this battle anymore. But it still sucks to see Darmanitan suffer. 
please hit that Luxray for the love of God. Uh, without the Rally buff, it's okay. The damage was fine. Alright, let's just go over here. Yeah, let's just finish her off. She's a problem. Honestly, I'm probably going to lose Darmanitan too. It's just going to be Shingen versus uh, Amolga. Which means an instant loss for the opponent. Especially... Wait, he's burned. We should live. Because he's burned, unless he gets a crit, we should live. Yep. With a crit, we would have died because his attack would go back to normal. The burn damage wouldn't be existent. And that's game, guys. We win. I had to sacrifice my boss, my Yoshihiro, but he did the job. He freaking did it. He stopped the opponents. Alright. We're holding on to this electric area. And he did kill somebody, right? Nope, only 2%. Shingen, only 2%. 3% for Darmanitan, who's now got a plus 3 attack stat. Which is amazing, obviously. That's just great. So even though it's been raining, the Duat died. It's too low of a percent of Duat. Now it's time to see if Hideyoshi's going to take a, a stab at the king. Alright, Masamune is going to try... Uh, honestly, he could probably take that area of Nobunaga. He f okay, he's going to get wiped out. Hideyoshi, who are you bringing? And can I beat it? He brought literally everybody. Literally everybody. And you know what? I accept the challenge. It's not a good challenge. This is not a good idea. But one thing I have that I haven't shown off yet is a Frostlass with the ability of Mountaineer. And on this map, if we can't win by battle, we can win by Mountaineer. So this ability lets us climb mountains. And in this map, this counts as mountains. Oh, this is going to be a weird fight, but I think I can win it. Because I have a flying type. I have a guy who can body block in the in the form of Zoroark. I know it's not a great idea. But Pinaco can also body block if need be. But I don't like that that Onyx can stop it. Oh, that Flappy's a problem too, but it's okay. Honestly, we can do this. We just gotta believe in our team. Oh, he's gonna quick strike. He's just doing it for the range buff. That's not a bad idea, honestly. I just need to cover this place. So what I'm gonna do... Mountaineer is an amazing ability. Just go straight. You go straight. You go straight. And Kunoichi's sadly gonna be falling behind, but she'll catch up eventually. And Rufflet, you're amazing. Having a Rufflet right now is gonna come in handy so much. I don't know if he's going to be able to do anything to freaking... Alright, Onyx, I see you. Jigglypuff's going to be their healer. That's a big problem. They're all lined up. And Flaffy decides to take that flag. Which one does Hideyoshi decide? Okay. That's fine. Knocking them off the flags is the most important thing I can do. If I can knock him off his flag, that gives us some time to breathe. And if I can knock that Flaffy off their flag, that'll give us some time to breathe. So that's what I'm going to try and do first. Knock you off the flag. Not even trying to dance. Okay, good. Frostlass's speed stat is amazing. Because even though we're not doing any damage, we're still knocking them off and lowering their range. That buys us time. Time to capture all these flags. Now I got a quick strike. I didn't want to do it this early. I got to do it in order to stop Monferno. Because our speed stat should beat Monferno's. Yep. And that makes it so we can knock him off. Hell, we might even flinch him, giving us even more time to capture the flags. We did. And an accuracy drop, because we're dicks. Alright, now it's time to start capturing the flags, so... Pineco, get into a position that you can start fighting. You could capture this flag. Perfect. We just don't want them to have it. And Kunoichi, you're going to capture the back two flags. I might have Frostlass help you, I don't know yet. Jigglypuff's going first. She's going to knock off... The, okay, she's going to capture that. Oh, you missed! That wasted their whole turn then. Onyx at best can not do anything. Yeah, they wasted their entire turn on Oichi's miss. And the way they're lined up is looking real nice for me. Alright, time to capture the rest of the flags and decide on who's going to be the body blocker. I also should try to kill Oichi. Alright, you're going to capture this flag. Your job is to capture flags. Frostlass, if you get knocked off, it does absolutely nothing, because you can just climb back up with your Mountaineer ability. You don't do a lot of damage, but it's okay. We're not looking for the damage right now. We're just looking to do be a dick. 
Zoroark, I didn't normally want you to capture the flag, but in this case, yes, capture the flag. Jigglypuff attacking my Pinaco would be the dumbest thing ever. Wow, Pinaco with a lot of damage. I guess Bug Bite is a three-star attack, you just don't think about it. Oh, I also had a power wristband on, that's why. Jigglypuff is not using her heal, but she's... Oh, she's going to kill herself. She's not going to be able to heal the team anymore. Literally, Jagged Edge is going to kill her right now. She's not even going to get more than two hits. But by knocking off Pinaco, that's actually a big uh, win for them. Hmm. A defense increase doesn't matter. I have Mountaineer ability, so this doesn't matter either. And HP increase does matter. Onyx can't move anywhere. Servine can move four spaces, though. That's how they stop us from winning. That's their intelligent play. Yeah, that's one of the few evolved Pokemon that can move four spaces, so we don't have the flags again. I need to kill those two grass types so I can body... I mean, so I can take the flag. Alright. We're gonna start with this. It's not the best damage, but it's good damage. There we go. That HP that she healed saved her life. But now Servine's got to go all the way around again. Pinaco, the best you could do. It's sad, but just bite the opponent's ass. I'm not even joking. That's the best. Oh, wow, you took his item. That's good. I honestly didn't expect that, so that is good. Um, Trickster doesn't increase range. Oh, I could have climbed the platform. I forgot about Trickster's ability. Trickster will come in handy later, then. For now, I'm going to have to do this. Zoroark, you're going to be the killer. You kill you, and then we're going to capture the freaking place. Because Onyx can only hit Frostlass, which sucks, but it's doable. We can handle Frostlass not being in a good position. And now, we hold the flag for five turns. Even if we can't kill the enemy, we'll win by flags. And Pinaco, you're probably going to die if you go up there, so... I might not make you go up there. Your battle might be over. Now, this sucks that the Zor I mean that the Onyx did this much damage, but that's all it's gonna do to us. Wish I could get Pinaco up here to be the defender. He would be pretty good at it. Instead, I am gonna get him killed. Screw it. Pinaco's just gonna bully the monkey. Even if it gets him killed, he's gonna be the bully. Zorark? Hmm. I don't like this, but I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna have you do 34 damage right now to that Servine. You're gonna bully that that grass type for me. You activate its overgrow, don't worry about it. Frostlass, you're gonna heal on the flag, so don't worry. That's your job. Nice. And now that it has one range, it can't do anything. Honestly, I could just leave the Onyx alone, but I don't want that Flaffy to sneak through. This is my Herkas of Jagged Edge, but we'll take it. Yes, defending this turn is all that matters. All we have to do is hold the line. We hold the line, we win the battle. And honestly, because of that Onyx, they can't do anything. If I don't kill the Onyx, it's actually better. I'm guaranteed to win the battle. But I don't like winning by guarantees. I want to I wanna mix things up a little bit. So Monferno's going to hit me. Yep, I was expected. How much? Woo! That does more than half. And my, you know what, my Jagged Edge did pretty good, but more than half sucks. That really sucks that it did that much damage. I'm probably going to have to Deep Breath, aren't I? Alright, Deep Breath. It sucks that I had to use my ability so early, because now I'm stuck in this position, but... Screw it. Now, killing the Onyx would be the bad idea. I don't win the battle if I kill this Onyx. Or at least I have a chance of losing it. And yet I'm tempted to just do it. Frostlass needs experience, everybody, so we're gonna do it. And now that you're sorry, we're gonna have Kunoichi back off just by a step. Not too I could actually trickster my way out of here, can't I? Let's see how let's see where Trickster lets us go. I can go anywhere with Trickster. I could sneak around and start punching the monkey. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to sneak around and start punching that monkey. And then you, sir, you are going to hold the line now. Zoroark's pretty tanky and a higher level than most Pokemon, so I trust him. And a crit is nice. <laughs> that's nice when you just get a random crit. This Servine is gone, though. 
it's probably gone anyway. It's pretty tanky, I'll give it that, but 2 HP, it's gone. Monferno is not going to be able to kill Pinico in time either. Servine's blocking there. Monferno's being a dick. I won't be able to save Pinico's life, honestly. He'll do exactly enough to kill Pinico. But you gotta take the good with the bad. The good is, I'm gonna kill most of the Pokemon this turn. Because Mountaineer is busted. Watch this shit. Hey, look, I'm a Mountaineer. I just skip everything. There we go. And now that I used my Trickster... I Obviously, I need to hit Monferno with my Dark-type. And now that I've used my Trickster ability, I could do... Ugh, I, need, I need this freaking guy dead. Uh, crit has to happen. Yes, I got the crit. Okay, because of this, what I can do now is I can body block. Zoroark, you can body block too. Awakening's good. All right, I don't have Quick Strike anymore, but I'm gonna have to hit Kunoichi. She could take it. I just need to drop his accuracy. Not yours. Okay, it doesn't matter if I drop yours. Blaze, yep, you're gonna kill whoever you hit next. Rufflet is just too far away. She can't. They can't stop him. I don't want him to kill Pinaco, but at the same time, I can't stop him. He's just gonna kill Pinaco. Do you have a potion? No. Sorry, Pinaco. I wanted a perfect victory. We're not gonna get one of those. Here we go, guys. He didn't move. He gave up. The opponent has given up. That's a sad sight. Oh god, I don't even want to give the kill to Rufflet. That just feels weird. Giving it to someone like you, you don't deserve it. You do deserve it, but don't. I don't want you to have it. Alright, 23 damage. We're going to give the kill to somebody that can use the experience. Like Scraggy. Go Scraggy, get that kill, get a crit. Damn, alright. Like Frostlass. Even though Frostlass is going to have to hurt somebody. Six damage, it's worth it. Go Frostlass. Whoo, we defended our turf everybody. We have the perfect people guarding Pugilist because we have a flying type, we have a mountaineer, and we have a person whose ability lets them climb anywhere. So, Kunoichi loves this map. Alright, 3% for you is really good. 2% is normal. Um, wow, 4%. Very good. 5, not 6, 7! Almost 8% for Frostlass. That's amazing. Literally the most worth it battle we've had in a long time. But, that's going to be it for this episode. Let's go ahead and save the game. I'm pretty sure that's everybody's moves. They've made their turn. They've taken their turns. They don't need to do anything else to us. My army has shown that they can defend. And that's it. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time. And uh, remember to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.